How's it going everyone? It's David here and I have returned to Kennywood yet again for Phantom Fall Fest. Uh, unlike last time, I'm actually here bright and early. I'm here for the American Coaster Enthusiast KennyCon event. Normally it's a summer event, but now it's here in the fall because CoasterCon was here earlier this year. And uh, this day's going to be uh, pretty interesting. I didn't know this, but when I registered, uh, I got a full speedy pass for the day. So I've shared my thoughts on that in the past and I'm actually gonna finally use it today. So I'll share my thoughts on that. The main goal for me today is uh, to get through all of the haunted houses that I missed last time, uh, share my thoughts on that. And uh, overall, I try to have a good day. So let's go in and try to have some fun. One of the benefits of coming here for KennyCon is that we have an hour-long ERT on the Thunderbolt and just did six consecutive rides this morning, which is uh, pretty awesome. And uh, even had a couple of rides with this guy. Yo. This is Colin. And what is your role here at Kennywood? Uh, I work at the cemetery. I'm the guy who holds the sign that just says spooky and scare people with it. I don't know how it works. It just does. This is the guy that was like my highlight from uh, the last time I was here. He was like my favorite actor in the cemetery. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again later today. Yeah, you will. Well, more paint has been put on the cosmic chaos on top of the green supports. It looks like we are getting a bright orange track. Here's an update on the old volcano plot. It looks like the old arm sweep for the volcano is now removed, so there is now nothing left. The facade is all gone. About to get on the old mill, gonna bypass this long line and use my very first speedy pass. Okay, just used my very first Kennywood speedy pass. Uh, you had to get set up at the speedy pass center right at the tunnel, and uh, once you created your account. It was actually fairly easy to use. We used it first on the old mill, and uh, it was about a 15, 20 minute wait. And uh, when I uh, redeemed it, basically it gave me a countdown for five minutes. And once uh, the countdown expired, a barcode would pull up and a team member scanned it, and then we got right on the ride. It was actually uh, pretty easy to understand and uh, pretty efficient in my opinion. I'm gonna use it on a couple other rides here today. Still don't think it is worth, it's now $150 now for this speedy pass for the unlimited rides and the unlimited hunts, but at least it does work. Although today it doesn't seem super busy. As a local, I would never use this, but if it was included and uh, I was able to give it a trial for today, I think it's pretty neat. We're about to bypass a one hour and 15 minute wait for the steel curtain. I say all, you say clear, all, clear, all. How many of you guys are going to be on bound out here? You're going on bound 197 feet in the air. 
upside down, 200 feet in the air. No. You're going to have 200 feet high. Upside down, 297 feet, reach the top speed, 76 miles per hour, and upside down, 8400 feet. Travel still very did the steel curtain. This is a ride that I don't really do too often because, oh, that line could be really long. But with the speedy pass today, uh, an hour and 15 minute wait turned into about a 10 minute wait with it. And uh, yeah, it's a really good ride. I do really like it. Still don't think it's worth the wait every single time I come here, but it's definitely a highlight attraction. So this guy right here was from Is It Cake on Netflix. Need us access... They have the Penn State game on the Jumbotron. But right now we're about to go into Malice in Wonderland for a Lights On tour. So yes, we actually get to go into the never used Steelers Experience building. down the rabbit hole through the looking glass is over there. Which one's the better one? Um, if I remember correctly, through the looking glass. Yeah, that's all. What was this, uh, the car song? Would you like to go right to the left first? Liberty, uh, what's it called? Freedom Land. Freedom Land, yeah. yeah. Where you would choose. So cool. I do like this It's I haven't actually seen this room completed. Oh, you didn't like this part? This is yeah. Cedar Fair now. Okay, we're good. Well, they even have like uh, a cyclone, which is eight eight month. Here's the progress for the freshly painted racer.
only mid-October, but preparation is well underway for holiday lights. They've already begun construction of the giant Christmas tree. Some scare actors getting ready for show. Oh, here comes trouble. Let's <laughs> go, man. All right, just did our first house of the night, Shady Grove Memorial Hospital. And that's one that I do really enjoy. Um, I feel like some of the actors were having a little bit too much fun in there. Uh, they were doing like a musical review in there, which was kind of funny. But there were some really good scares and some really good acting in there. I love the novelty of being in a hospital and having like the waiting room and all that sorts of stuff. Uh, overall, I did enjoy it, although we were kind of stuck in a conga line, so we didn't quite get uh, every scare, uh, every triggerable thing that did happen in there, but it was still pretty decent. And uh, right now we're uh, in line for Malice in Wonderland. Uh, we got a ticket for the event today. Uh, hopefully we don't wait two hours for this one this time. All right, just did Malice in Wonderland. This time did not wait nearly as long. We got in pretty quickly and I thought that was fantastic. The actors were amazing in that and there were a couple of pretty good scares. I love the atmosphere. I love the vibe in it. I like how you can choose which way you want to go. Uh, last time I did through the looking glass, this time I went through uh, the rabbit hole. That was pretty cool. I actually got Stranger Things vibes going in there with all of the grandfather clocks and the vines everywhere. It was really neat. And again, the actors were really on point. I was really impressed. I still don't approve that you have to pay extra to go into this one. And the line still moves really, really slow. But if you can, I think it's really well worth it. If the line isn't too long, or if you find a discount, you can get in for free somehow. Really like it. I think my favorite house here so far. Okay, just did Villa of the Vampire. Uh, what I liked about that one is that it's uh, pretty long, much longer than the uh, two that we did earlier. And uh, the atmosphere is 
awesome. It's gothic, the music, and some of the actors did a pretty good job. I will say it wasn't my best run through uh, comparing to years past. Um, I felt like there weren't too many actors in there. There was a lot of stretches where nothing really happened. Uh, some actors, again, in there did a really good job. They really uh, hammed up the atmosphere. Uh, so it was pretty decent, uh, but not my favorite so far. Okay, yet another run through of the Kennyville Cemetery. And that, once again, was great. Um, saw some familiar faces from last time. Still got me still comedic but also still scary and uh, there was one older gentleman as like a caretaker he kept popping up at random moments in the maze and some of the times I didn't know where he would go to catch up with us because certainly he didn't walk past us uh, I think that was just him right now <laughs> yeah there he is <laughs> oh my god <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh my gosh, cemetery is really good. I think this one might be my favorite this year. So this is pretty awesome. The new paint scheme on the Cosmic Chaos glows in the dark with black light and they have it all around. And when this thing is done, man, this is gonna look really cool. be hard to see in the video but there are color changing spotlights on the phantom structure I don't think they're all turned on or turned up all the way job around here to catch the cattle. Yeah, come, come here, baby calf. Come on, baby calf. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Just rode Exterminator using the Speedy Pass. We actually bypassed a really long line for that. And for Halloween, they have all the lights turned off. They have creepy music in there. Man, you couldn't even see the hand in front of you. It was so dark. And when you're going around those tight turns, sudden drops and spinning around, it was really disorienting. A little much for me, but it was pretty cool. It was a lot of fun. So the speedy pass for Voodoo Bayou takes you into a closed and dark Thomas Town. Just did Voodoo Bayou. Uh, I love how you get to walk through the uh, Raging Rapids. 
some really cool set pieces and music. And some of the actors in there did a really good job. The actors have been really good this year. But uh, this one's probably my least favorite so far. Um, a lot of the scares and a lot of the scenes seem really spread out. And there were moments where like nothing really happened. But uh, when the actors were in character, it was pretty decent. So even though it might be my least favorite, it's still not a bad house. Just did Dark Shadows. That was really good. I'm not normally a fan of dark haunts, but Kenny Wood does a really good job here. Not too many actors in there, but really this one kind of just subverts your expectations. You, you don't know what's lurking in the corner. And there's a couple of really cool effects in there. Uh, there's a room with uh, lasers and mist and a guy popped out. There's a strobe light room. Uh, there's some floating skulls, some black light effect. Uh, you go into a hallway of uh, you go into a hallway of like plush pillows almost, and it's really claustrophobic. Oh, it was a really good one. <laughs> and I mean, you guys are up, up, and away on the two hundred meter total. So take a look at this fog right here. This is what we rode through. We just did a front row seat on steel curtain at night. Holy cow. That is the best ride I've ever had on that. That was amazing. Just flying through that fog with the brisk cold air. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. Any words? Wow. Wowie wow wowie zowie. Oh man, that might have been the highlight of the night. That was fantastic. That's gonna do it here from Kennywood Phantom Fall Fest. Uh, apologies again for not having a uh, proper ending to the video. You're me filming at my house instead of at the park. Oh well. <laughs> but um, I will say, going to Kennywood uh, on this day and attending the KennyCon event, I'm gonna be honest, that might have been some of the most fun I've had at Kennywood in recent memory. Uh, the event was super cool with all the behind the scenes tours. Uh, we got a catered meal and we got the speedy pass was able to try out which i will admit worked out really well i will never pay for it full price because it is kennywood i go here all the time i don't really see a value but if you are coming from abroad coming from a long distance away it's your very first time at kennywood you only have one day and the park seems to be really busy it may be something to consider although i would argue that you could probably do everything at Kennywood in one day. Although during Phantom Fall Fest, doing all the major rides and the haunted houses in one day, that might be a stretch. Now, I wasn't super clear when I was there, but there are the different tiers of Speedy Pass. The Elite is the most expensive one, that $150 one that gets you into the haunted houses and the rides. Um, and that reduces your weight to, I want to say like 85 or 90% of the posted wait time. The one I had was called the premium, which cut your wait time in half. So for example, uh, when I read the steel curtain uh, later that evening, it had a posted one hour wait. And when I clicked redeem it, there was the countdown that started a half hour from that moment. And uh, another thing too about um, the steel curtain is that it did break down on us and the time actually froze. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, you don't get a freebie or you don't get a, another redemption. Get it? Your, your time is frozen. You have the option to opt out of it and do a virtual queue for another attraction. Or you just wait it out and hopefully that the ride reopens. Which it did and obviously as you saw we were able uh, to get on. As uh, for the haunted houses, I thought Kennywood did a pretty good job this year. I enjoyed all the haunted houses this year. 
As for ranking the haunted houses, uh, excluding Ark in the Dark, I did not get to do that one. Uh, I would have to say uh, Kennyville Cemetery is my favorite, followed by Malice in Wonderland, then Dark Shadows, then Shady Grove Memorial Hospital, Villa of the Vampire, and then Voodoo Bayou. Although, to be honest, all of them I thought were really good this year. So my next kind of video will most likely be at Holiday Lights, uh, their Christmas time event, which is always a great time to go to. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it and subscribe for more content. And with that being said, thank you all for riding and I'll see you next time.